In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up an Invitrogen Procartoplex immunoassay in the Luminex Exponent software. For the purpose of this video, we will demonstrate with a human immune monitoring 65 plex panel and will reference the exponent software for a Luminex 200 instrument. Please refer to instrument user guides for applications involving the Luminex FlexMap 3D, Luminex MagPix, and Luminex XMap and Teleflex instruments. Exponent software settings for the Procartoplex assay can be found in the Procartoplex assay user guide. To begin, refer to the LX200 user guide to log in to the Exponent software. Start the Luminex Exponent program from the Start menu or the Desktop shortcut. At the System Login screen, log in using the login instructions provided in the Instrument user guide. Refer to the Maintenance tab to ensure that the instrument is properly calibrated and verified using the necessary startup calibration and verification procedures by following the system initialization process as outlined by the Luminex instrument user guide. For setting up a protocol, go to the Protocols tab and select Create New Protocol. Fill in your preferred name. As an example, use Procartoplex Human Immune Monitoring 65plex. Fill in Manufacturer as Invitrogen. The version number is set by default to 1. If you wish to edit an existing protocol, the software will require you to change the version number in order to save the changes. The default volume setting is 50 microliters. Select MagPlex as the bead type since the Procartoplex aminoassay contains magnetic beads. To set the doublet discriminator or DD gate for a Procartoplex aminoassay on a Luminex 200 instrument, we recommend using 7,500 to 25,000. Do not enable the XY heater. Next, enter the analysis type. As there is a standard curve in the Procartoplex immunoassay, it is recommended to use the quantitative setting. This allows you to enter the number of standards. For a Procartoplex assay, the number of standards is seven. For some assays, Controls may be used and you can select those in the controls section or leave blank if none are used. Choose the curve fit, fit for all standard, as this uses a 5PL fit to calculate the results. Please refer to the table shown here for the recommended user settings for your instrument. Select next. Now select analytes on the left side to define your targets. Assign the bead regions according to the Certificate of Analysis by clicking on the bead numbers. Manually enter the names for each analyte in the list on the right. A benefit of using the Procartoplex Analysis app on the Thermo Fisher Connect platform is that the analyte names will be automatically assigned. There is no manual entry required. This applies to all Procartoplex assay panels. Enter the unit from the Certificate of Analysis, for example, picograms per milliliter. Set the required count to 50 beads per analyte and do not select the option for total count. Then select Apply All and it will automatically update all targets. In this same table, you can choose to change the analysis setting. We recommend leaving it at the default setting of Logistic 5PL Weighted then click Next to proceed. In the plate layout, first define how your standards were pipetted, then define if you have used duplicates or only single values with the replicate count. For duplicates, use two. Using the grouping dropdown to select the correct setting. For vertical duplicates, use the 111-222 setting. For horizontal duplicates, use the 123 one, two, three setting. Then choose first the S for standards and mark all the columns you used for the standards. Repeat the procedure for the background wells. Save the protocol by clicking the save button. Now select the standards and controls tab to define the standards. Enter a name, the lot number, 
the expiration date, and the manufacturer to the tab. If you have more than one standard mix included in the panel, enter them by separating each with a comma. There is a limited amount of characters allowed, so you may need to abbreviate lot number entry if mixing multiple standard lots. If you have more than one standard mix, we recommend using the lot number of the whole kit for the standard lot number. When entering the expiration date, please use the American format with month, day, and year. Use Invitrogen as manufacturer. Then enter the S1 concentration for each target from the certificate of analysis. Enter the dilution factor for the standard curve. For Procartoplex amino assays, it is usually 1 to 4. Now mark the first entire row and click Apply Dilution. All standard concentrations will be automatically calculated. You can ignore the Apply Controls Lot section when running a quantitative assay. However, this section will be required if controls were chosen in the Protocol Setup screen. Click Save to save the lot-specific standard information which can be used in other protocols that use the same targets. Please visit the Procartoplex Analysis app at the URL shown to learn more about how to easily set up these details without manual data entry. Now switch to the tab Batches. In this section, you define your experiment and run the assay. Name the batch which best describes the experiment. Select the protocol you want to use for running the assay, then click Next. This will take you to the standard info section that you created in the protocol setup. Check the standard lot if it is the correct one. The dilution factor dropdown will default to a 1 to 2 dilution, but the concentration of the standards will have applied a 1 to 4 dilution, as this was applied previously in the protocol section. You can use the Apply Standards slash Control Kit button to change to a different lot if desired. Click Next. Now you will see the plate layout that was created previously in the protocol section. Define your unknown samples on the plate and apply the appropriate grouping. You can include the names of the samples and a dilution factor if necessary. You can also use the Import Sample List option to import a list with the complete names of the samples and the dilution factor with a text file. If you want to start reading the plate at a later time, click Save for saving the batch information. Then load the plate into the instrument and select Run to start reading the plate. During the run in the current batch section in the Results tab, you can observe different parameters in real time by reviewing histograms, scatter plots, bead counts, and concentration values. For details on these parameters, refer to the instrument user guide. At the completion of the assay run in the results tab, select Save Batches in the left side navigation menu and pick the relevant batch. Here you have the option to open the batch via the Open button and review the raw data including the standard curve. You can select the Show Unknown Samples box to view unknown data points. You can also use the Statistic drop-down to view batch statistics for all measured targets. After reviewing and editing the results, save and close the batch file. Use the Export Results.csv button to export a CSV file. Store the CSV file to a chosen folder for use in our cloud-based Procartoplex app. Refer to the video titled, How to Use the Procartoplex Analysis App on the Thermo Fisher Connect Platform, for details on data analysis. Refer to the Luminex Instrument User Guide to run the necessary shutdown procedure. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about Procartoplex immunoassays, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Procartoplex. For more information about the Procartoplex Analysis app, visit thermofisher.com forward slash PPX Analysis app.